Today we're going to start by logging onto Google Classroom and finding the Google slideshow that I shared with you of Henri Matisse's art. You can use the images that I have put on the slides to help you find different types of organic and geometric shapes. In your project sketchbook, you will find a page that has geometric and organic on the top of a t-chart. Look carefully at the pictures and use a pencil to identify different shapes that you see in Henri Matisse's work and put them into the appropriate category. I see a square and that's an example of a geometric shape. Organic shapes are wiggly and curvy. They're more made up, but I'm trying to look at what Henri Matisse did and using him to come up with different ideas of shapes that I might not be able to think of all by myself. Make sure you have at least five geometric and five organic shapes. I need one more organic shape, so I'm going to go back and find one more. Perfect. Now I'm ready for the next step. The next step is to start sketching out your designs in your sketchbook. These designs could change, but you need to be using organic and geometric shapes in your composition or layout. Think about which shapes you like and try to fill up your whole page with those shapes. It's okay if some of the shapes are not shapes that you did in your shape search in the last step. When I'm done with my sketch, I'm going to flip and do one more sketch before I find a friend and get some feedback. Use your friend to help you decide on which design is your favorite. Or maybe you feel like you still aren't completely satisfied and you need to make a third design. You could use this time to do that too, or maybe to tweak one of the designs that you got feedback on. 